Vice Principal of the Sawa North Government Secondary School, Mr. Idris Muhammad, Vice Principal of the Sawa North Government Secondary School, all Ministry of Education officials, principals of all the schools who are joining us online, and all of the other teachers and the persons from the other schools, specially invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, good morning and welcome. My name is Trisha Henry. I'm the Public Relations Manager for Huawei, Trinidad and Tobago, and I'm very happy to be your host this morning at the media launch of the Huawei Idea Hubs for Schools in Trinidad and Tobago. We are very happy to be here this morning with all of you, and especially we would like to welcome everyone um, who came out this morning to be with us. This is a very special project where we, Huawei has worked together under the umbrella of the Ministry of Education's Adopt a School program, and together with TSCT, had, have been able to provide a Huawei hub, IDEA hub for 10 schools around Trinidad and Tobago. You will actually see the Huawei IDEA hub on the stage, but you will actually hear more about it later on in the program. So without further ado, I would like to welcome first to the podium, Mr. Jeff Chin, the CEO for Huawei Technologies, Trinidad and Tobago Limited. Mr. Jin. Dr. The Honorable Sneha Gassibi Dolly, Minister of Education, and the Honor Honorable Lisa Morris Julian, Minister in the Ministry of Education, and Mr. Kurt Meyer, Permanent Secretary, Minister of Education, and Mr. Darren Duke, the General Manager of Enterprise Service TSTT, and Principal and Vice Principal of San Juan North Secondary School, and principals and teachers joining online, and all invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, and members of media, good morning. Today, I have the honor to join together with Honorable Ministers of Education, TSTD, the media, and all partners to launch the Huawei Idea Hub was to the school in Trinidad and Tobago. Now, COVID-19 has changed everything about the way we live and work. It has also changed many sectors, including education. All over the world, all schools we saw were forced to be fully online, and there were many challenges for teachers and students. First was limited abilities to share information by the teachers. Also, small cameras that make it hard to show teaching materials and keep students interested. Finally, how to connect thousands of the students with teachers for real-time teaching and feedback. Actually, in Huawei, we also face same challenges. We have over 200,000 staff globally in more than 1,000 offices crossed 117 countries. Over half of employees worked from home during the lockdown time. And in one day, how you imagine, we have about 14,000 meetings to ensure continuity of work. Now, we all need digital tools to help us work together remotely and smoothly. Today, we introduce a brand new intelligent collaboration product to meet this demand, the Huawei Idea Hub. Actually, it helps with challenges and make classes more interactive. I won't get into a lot of details because our colleagues will show, do the demos later. But you will see later how it works and some of the features in the demonstration is really can help the school and have challenges for teaching and learning online. They also allowed for more face-to-face -face communications, which is key for teaching and learning. 
we were happy to support the adopt a school program of the education ministries actually led by the minister of uh, uh, ministry education actually we donate the tablets to school directly we also work with the local partners to make Huawei tablets available for other donations but we did not stop there we also commit to give 10 idea hub wall to schools the ministry would choose because we believe that this new technology can really help schools not only during the pandemic but also into the future now we know the government of Trinidad like the government other like other governments want to do get children back into school again and we also agree with this but how to do this in the new normal we will now have to look at a mix of the online and offline school technology like the idea hub can help with this allowing teachers and teach school students both in the classroom and remotely at the same time no child should miss education because they are cannot be in the classroom today we have donated idea hubs to school just like this one around the country we hope in future more school can use technology as this to make classroom smarter and offer offline online hybrid teaching model let's try to make this pilot in Trinidad and gain more experiences of this new normal e-education models I thank the Ministry of Education for working together with us to make today's possible and give this hub, idea hub technology to the 10 schools we hope to work more with you in future we believe TT is very important in the Caribbean region and can be the leader in the smart education I also want to thanks for the strategy partner TSTT who has been the leader in the bring new technologies to TT they are our partner in making the idea hub available in this country not just for education but also for the business and the government's use Huawei has been TT for 15 years we have been committed to the people of the country our vision is simple we want to support the government national digital transformation strategy using ICT to benefit to citizens and we want to share our knowledge and help build the ICT talent in TT through training and the internship to support our digital TT goals we have already started and this is first step we will continue to be here and we promise to continue to bring TT more amazing technologies and the digital experiences like Huawei Idea Hub thank you all for our partners customers and friends most importantly stay safe and stay healthy thank you these idea hubs were donated to 10 schools around the Trinidad and Tobago um, as selected by the Ministry of Education under the adopt a school program next we move on to mr. Darrell Duke the manager general manager acting enterprise services Trinidad and Tobago telecommunication services TSTT mr. Duke Dr. The Honorable Nyan Gatsby Dolly, Minister of Education, Honorable Minister Lisa Morris Julian, CEO Jeff Jin, my good friend, and the hardworking team from Huawei, principals, media, other specially invited guests. Good morning. Um, I took off my mask with your kind permission, Minister, just to share with you that a couple of years back, you'll find it very hard to believe when I used to come up to this school we know as Book. It has come with a lot of fear and intrepidation because I come into the football field. A lot of years, a couple of decades, way before your time, 
as I took off the mask, so you understand, you can see it in my appearance. And it's certainly a pleasure now with that fear and intrepidation now to convert it into the pleasure that we have in terms of sharing this technology and this opportunity with the Ministry of Education. So I've been continued on of working alongside one of our most valued partners for the hand over the Huawei Idea Hub all-in-one device. This is yet another successful outcome as a result of our collective efforts to make Trinidad and Tobago a better place by leveraging technology through strategic partnerships. And this is one of those special moments, and it's truly, truly special, with our technology is aligned with our social responsibility as we pursue the greater good for Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, there are numerous challenges for us in the world today, many of which predate the pandemic that has circled the globe. But despite these challenges, B-Mobile and Huawei have these two things working in our favor, our shared technology and our shared humanity. The Idea Hub is a next-gen technology that brings new level of connectivity to the curriculum, along with revived inspiration to students and teachers in the classroom. It's a very powerful plug-and-play device that combines several technologies all into one. And with this technology, the interface with the always-on B-Mobile connectivity provided to the secondary schools, which is provided through our GovNet relationship, um, facilitates same. This is a sublime beauty when technology aligns itself with humanity. But collaboration is really where the magic lies. This is just one of the many collaborative efforts undertaken by B-Mobile during the last 18 months of the pandemic, geared towards ensuring the continued education of our nation's children. From our continued contribution to the facilitation of the purchase of 10,000 smart devices, to our deployment of resources directed at keeping students connected, our place as a leading telecom provider is only usurped by our other, our other role. That is, as a partner making Trinidad and Tobago a better country for all. And not just for our customers, but for all citizens, few telecommunication providers can say the same. We have worked to provide zero-rated data access to educational websites and partner with our other communication providers to offer low-cost broadband and low-cost tablet solutions to students in Trinidad and Tobago so that their education continues with minimal interruption. Of course, in time, students who use platforms such as this will leave and enter the working world and expect the same level of technology and connectivity that they have here today. In fact, most graduates already do. I have a, the pleasure, really the pleasure, of announcing that this technology, the Idea Hub, will be available to our corporate customers very, very soon, a preview of coming attractions. And there's no better time for a tool like this. TSCT and B-Mobile continues to enhance our digital service offerings, like eTender, while utilizing our tier three fully redundant data center to support those digital solutions and provide hosted solutions in public and private clouds. We have invested over $1.6 billion between 2015 and 2020 towards improving and upgrading our networks and has a driven a focus on solid customer service and support. Connectivity in the 21st century is akin to the air we breathe. When it's good, we don't even think about it at all. But when you take it away, you know within a few seconds and wonder how do we live with it without it. And you know I have kids, so I know when my kids' internet go down for a few seconds, it is like the world is over. Our role as a company is therefore a strange mix of being visible and invisible. Invisible in our day-to-day -day job in keeping TNT connected, but visible in our efforts as a responsible corporate entity. Between our efforts in education and offerings in business as a telecommunications provider, there's, a op there's an optimal singularity to make Trinidad and Tobago a better and more connected place. But we cannot do these things in isolation. We can only achieve great things by doing it together. And this morning is one such example. Our long-standing partnership with Huawei is one which we value greatly. Huawei supports the Ministry of Education's adopted school program and has donated 100 tablets to five schools in 2020, and 10 of these brilliant idea hub boards to 10 schools across Trinidad. And this aside, from the Seeds for Future program, which has allowed Trinidad and Tobago students to learn new ICT topics, such as AI and cloud computing. While there are many challenges ahead, I remain steadfast, and we, TSTT and B-Mobile, remain steadfast in our outlook that a great time is, is a great time to be alive. We just have to believe and put our beliefs into action together. Ministers, both ministers, I'm glad to see both of you here today. Like yourself on Wednesday, I took a big step forward with my daughter, my firstborn, to have a vaccinate, 
what I call vaccinate to educate. And today, I dare say take, we take another bigger step, leap forward, hand in hand, in collaborating to educate. I thank you. I just have to readjust as Daryl and I are not the exact same height. I'm a little taller than Daryl, so. So thank you very much for that very inspiring speech. And Huawei is always very excited to work together with forward-thinking organizations and partner with organizations like TSTT to really bring the new technology to Trinidad and Tobago. So now we are going to show you what has been happening over the last two months where the idea hubs have been put into the schools and installed um, by our capable team uh, at Huawei with collaboration from the Ministry of Education. So without further ado, take a look at our short video, or short short as we call it, to have a better sense of the idea hubs in schools. mentioned I'm Adam I'm the technical officer at Huawei Technology City I'm the expert for this product in this region actually uh, thank you for the opportunity for having me here to introduce the device to you all who haven't seen it so far so right now I'm actually using a feature that we are getting to more later but wireless projection from my PC to the device which facilitates the PowerPoint it facilitates videos it facilitates any any method to 
of sharing media content and videos across the platform. So the device, if you look at it, it's, it looks like a giant television alone, right? It doesn't look like your traditional idea of what a smart board would be. Uh, this model we have here is actually the 86 inch Pro model. and It contains a 4K display, which provides vivid imagery and pictures for you to view. But it's not just limited to that. A 4K camera to provide quality video conferencing, uh, built-in speakers, and connectivity with the microphones as well. It also has a lot of peripheral devices at the side, which allow us to do things which are really, really interesting, such as connecting to external displays, microphones, and speakers. Um, so the device itself, people, it is also a full touchscreen display. So people would ask, it looks like a regular TV? No, it's much more than that. It's fully functional with regards to integrating into the various environments. So. The first one I'd like to look at is uh, your basic meeting room setup. Normally, you would have a lot of equipment. You would have to have network equipment, switches, screens. You would have PCs, and you would have whiteboards as well. So what we try to do with this device is let's find out how we can shy away from that and integrate everything into one device. So now you can see one, two, three, four, five, six items can be done and facilitated by the Idea Hub itself. You can project, so you don't need a physical projector. You don't need media conferencing. You don't need video conferencing. You don't need a, a whiteboard. Everything is done internally on the device itself. And it's not just limited to that. Right now, I'm projecting from my computer, but I can also project from my mobile device. So I would like to demonstrate that for you all. What I use is the application called IdeaShare, and I'm on the same network as the device, and I just enter the code. And I can project my mobile device onto the screen in real time. So you don't need HDMI cables, VGA cables. You don't even need your laptop at the end of the day. You can do everything from your mobile device, from the touch of your palms. Then I can disconnect it. Open the app. So the Idea Hub is actually based on the integration of two different platforms. There's the part of it that looks like a giant tablet, this interface here which also includes a whiteboard. And the whiteboard isn't just limited to regular text. So you can write on it. My handwriting is a little bad. So there's this feature here where the device recognizes your text and it would correct it for you in a more readable format. It would, and it also works with geomet basic geometric shapes as well. It would correct it for me in the, from what it sees it to be. And with this content, you can also save it and share it. So let's say you have a class this morning. You can save this content and, and save it for later instead of just discarding it. Or you can even distribute it via email or USB flash drive to other participants in the, in the classroom or the staff. So that's one part of it that now we want to go across to the Windows application because as well as it uh, looks like a big tablet, you have a regular computer as well. So when you look at it, it looks like a full-fledged computer. You have your Teams, you have your Zoom, you have Google, whatever applications you may need to use, it's there. So uh, what I want to do, I actually have some visitors from the other 10 schools from the Adopted School Program that have the Idea Hubs. So some of them have joined via the Idea Hub or from the comfort of their homes. So let me pull them up.
Hi, good morning, guys. Can you all hear me at home? Yes, we are. Okay, great. So today, what I have for you all, you all, we're actually going to school today. I have a lesson that Miss Paula Gonzalez from Shigonas North Secondary has planned. So she's going to teach us a little bit today. So Miss Gonzalez, when you're ready to share, we're going back to class here, people. Okay, so we can see. Can you test your audio, miss? Because I can't hear you. Yes, I'm hearing you now. You can speak up a little bit. So this is a lesson on computer specification of form 3. This lesson is based on system specification. So in today's lesson, we're going to look at Processors. What is the central processing unit, or what we know as the CPU? The central processing unit, or CPU, is an important part of the every computer. The CPU sends signal to control the other parts of the computer, almost like how a brain controls a body. The CPU is an electronic machine that works on a list of computer things to do, forward instructions. It reads the list of instructions and runs or executes each one in order. A list of instructions that a CPU can run is a computer program. There are two main types of processors. The most popular ones, the Intel CPU processor, and the AMD CPU processor. In looking at processors, it is also important to look at processor speed. A computer's processor clock, or the clock rate or clock speed, determines how quickly the central processing unit, or CPU, can retrieve and interpret the structure. This helps your computer complete more tasks by getting them done faster. Clock speeds are measured in failure rate. Faster clock speeds mean that you see that order from your CPU completed quicker, making your experience seamless. And reducing the time, you wait to interface with your favorite application and program. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Gonzalez. Um, so we took you all back to school, so let's, 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 let's go a bit further. I have a question for you guys. So just can you pull any questions for me? A little quiz, a little pop quiz. What are the types, the two main types of processes, the most popular types? Can I have a volunteer? I'll have to call somebody. How are you there? DMA. Ooh, I don't think that's correct on this. Ms. Gonzalez, can you show us the correct answer? The two, the four, two most popular types. Okay, she's very close. They are AMD and Intel. Intel and AMD. That's all right. We're here to do it. We're here to do it. Uh, so with that being done, I should functionality. We had a quick little lesson. I want to hand you back to our Trisha Henry. So she can continue with us. Thank you all for your time. I appreciate you. I appreciate the uh, opportunity to be here.
Right, right, Minister. Yes. So, as you can see from the functionality, it, it really allows a lot of interactivity. Um, and what Adam would have shown as well is that we can even reverse the way that teaching is done. Maybe the teacher can be at home, and you can use a, a, a large hall such as this to have more students together, socially distanced learning in that environment as well. So it really supports, as my CEO said, the kind of blended online, offline learning model. So thank you again, Adam. We really hope that um, these kinds of technologies, you're seeing the benefits and you're seeing how exciting it can be for schools in Trinidad and Tobago. Next, I would like to warmly welcome to the podium our feature speaker delivering the feature address, Dr. The Honorable Nyan Gatsby Dolly, Minister of Education. So please give a warm welcome to Minister Gatsby Dolly. The Honorable Lisa Morris Julian, Minister in the Ministry of Education, Mr. Jesh Jin, Chief Executive Officer, Huawei Technologies, Trinidad and Tobago, Mr. Darrell Duke, Acting General Manager, Enterprise Services at TSTT, Mr. Kurt Meyer, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Education, Mrs. Arlene Chandler, Principal of San Juan North Government Secondary School, and Mrs. Rhonda Sarant, Vice Principal. Mr. Idris Mohammed, Vice Principal of San Juan North, Government Secondary School, Ministry of Education officials, principals and teachers who are joining us online, specially invited guests, members of the media, I dare say if we have any children joining us online, a very pleasant good morning to you all. Thank you to our chairperson for the warm welcome and allow me to welcome you to the most beautiful constituency in Trinidad and Tobago, if I may say so myself. Might be a little biased, however. Today is a wonderful occasion because we launched the Huawei Idea Hub boards that have been donated to 10 schools across Trinidad and Tobago. This project falls in the Ministry of Education's Adopted School Program that was conceptualized in 2020 based on the circumstances in which we found ourselves and has provided over 22,000 plus children with devices to support educational continuity in one of the most challenging periods of Earth's history. Allow me at this juncture to say thank you to all of our corporate sponsors, Huawei, TSTT, and everyone else that has contributed to this in Trinidad and Tobago. And let us give them a round of applause. It is one thing to speak, it's another thing to put your money where your mouth is. Almost one year ago or so, Huawei met with Trinidad and Tobago's Ministry of Education and discussed how they could lend support to us. That support has materialized in the donation of 100 tablets to schools across Trinidad and Tobago. And now, as promised, the 10 idea hubs installed in 10 schools around Trinidad and Tobago. And you have seen from the demonstration of the technology just how powerful this is. Ms. Chandler, don't you wish you can have one in every single classroom? The schools that have benefited from this program are in the North, Russell Latsby Secondary and Belmont Government Primary, in the West, Carinage Boys Government Primary, in the East, San Juan North Secondary, where we are today, La Hocketa South Government Primary, Bonaire Secondary and Guayco Government Primary, in Central, Shogunas North Secondary School, and in the South, 
Fanny Village Government Primary and the National Center for Persons with Disabilities in San Fernando. These devices provide a tremendous opportunity for the students and also the teachers. As we discuss curriculum reform and as we progress ebooks and e-testing, over 12,000 of our teachers have received training thus far in content creation using Notes Masters and in learning management systems using Blackboard as well as other strategies to effectively educate our students in a digital environment. This is our new normal. These idea hubs given to the schools can really push the envelope and help our teachers to explore and experiment with how best to fully integrate and leverage the capabilities of smart tools and smart education. Transformation of the education system requires the development of a digital ecosystem that could be the framework upon which we build our transformation elements. It's more than just devices, because that's been given to our children and continue to be given to our children, but it's also about the training for our teachers. It's also about the provision of technology, such as the Idea Hubs, connectivity, to all of our schools so that teachers and students can fully utilize the devices that they have been given as tools. Education and learning will never go back to how it was pre-pandemic. There will always be a pre and post COVID in education. Whether at the preschool, primary, secondary, or tertiary level, things will not be the same. Even in our te technical, vocational, educational stream, technology will be the basis of education like never before. As a matter of fact, as you would have heard from Mr. Jin, even in industry and business, things are not the same. And everyone has now had to make that transition and that transformation as to how business is done. And the business of education is no different. The government of Trinidad and Tobago has clearly articulated its intention in the National Information and Communications Technology Plan 2018 to 22 to take Trinidad and Tobago into the digital age. According to the ICT blueprint, the common themes in the continuum of national ICT planning are directed at leveraging the power of people, innovation, industry, education, and infrastructure to transform the nation into a dynamic, sustainable, and prosperous future by harnessing the power of ICT. We have seen in these idea hubs the power of ICT today. Our education system has moved from blackboards to whiteboards to smart boards, and now to Idea Hubs. I applaud Huawei and TSTT for their vision and for responding to the government's call for support for our students with their tremendous contributions. Education takes a village. Education takes a village. And I thank you, Huawei. I thank you, TSTT, for being part of our village. I know that our teachers are looking forward to the training that's going to come so that they can fully utilize the idea hubs and I know they will take full advantage of this opportunity. Hybrid learning is here. Hybrid learning is here. And I can tell you that in all of the online training opportunities offered to our teachers, they have been receptive they have been taking the opportunity to upskill and to ensure that they retain their relevance. And as was mentioned, they continue to engage our students. Our students of today are different from the students of yesterday. Therefore, our teaching methods must reflect that difference. As I close, 
I'm challenging the teachers of these 10 schools to think like there is no box, to explore and experiment with the smart tool, innovate and ideate as much as possible. Your students are going to love it. Go wild. Take your ideas to your students and use these idea hubs to create and deliver lessons that will take their learning and yours to the next level. I cannot express my gratitude enough to Huawei and to TSTT for all you have done for the children of this nation. History will be kind to you. God bless you. Thank you very much, Minister. Thank you for those wonderful words. And definitely, Minister is, is correct. The teaching methods of today have to evolve with the students and how they would like to learn. And we definitely are going forward with new ways of doing things. Thank you again, Minister. So as we now come to the close of our very short program, I would like to invite the principal, Mrs. Arlene Chandler of the Sawa North Secondary School. and Mr. Darlington of TSCC and Mr. Darlington of principal of the Thomas and the Court Secondary School.
fine with the usual zoom and so on some you need this level of interaction so the facility of teachers having different tools at their fingertips to be able to use to engage their classes that is always a win for the ministry i also saw that we have um disability school of disability in san fernando in um tell us a little bit more about that because i know they would have probably not been left out of the situation but we would not have had a lot of light coming into that um, particular area during uh, the last academic year our students with special needs are at the forefront of um, our minds in terms of you know, being able to be engaged in this time. They depend heavily on, on, on physical interaction. So therefore, the fact that we could not do that would have impacted them greatly. So the use of the Idea Hub at that school gives us some insight into how the technology could enhance their teaching and learning. So we really are interested to see how the students take to it, how they engage it, so that will inform future decisions. Is there a specific start date or is it scheduled to begin at the start of the academic year? Oh, well, this could be the Idea Hubs are in, the teachers are going to be trained, and we would anticipate that as soon as they receive that training, they will just take it and run with it. So we saw some in the um, launch already using technology, so we expect that they will just take it and run with it, of course, guided by their principals. Sure, and principal, I have a question for you. What was the feedback like? Um, in terms of the, the teachers, or I don't know if were any students a part of this trial as well? Okay, well, all students haven't been able to come in yet to see it, but I know of one teacher who's very eager to start using the system. She was in and she was waiting for the training. She wanted to know when the training would be. All right, so it's something that our teachers would be glad to have. Given that we were restricted with the COVID and the online learning, and many of the teachers did not have the devices to move the lessons along as they should have been. And when do you think we may be looking to expand a program like this minister? I know we started with 10 schools um, in Trinidad. I know today they may have their own um, opportunity at another time, but when are we looking at probably the expansion or something like this? Well, we are so glad for the donation of the 10 idea halls. I, I stress on donation because you could imagine um, technology like this would not be cheap. We have 134 public primary um, secondary schools we have over 400 primary schools, so um, imagine the cost of getting one of these in every class. But certainly we will look at the pilot, see what's available. What we are concentrating on is building our school learning management system platform, getting that up to scratch, staffing our ed educational technology unit in the Ministry of Education, and they will be able to make further recommendations as to how we proceed with technology based on what we are available and what we can afford. Oh, I, will, I, I, I am sure that um, our representatives can answer that one. <laughs>
cost. The cost of, the of one cost. of the deployment. Or the idea of itself. I just want to take a question. <laughs> The idea hub um, will cost in excess of 100,000 TT. Yeah? Um, but it, it shows our, but forget cost, it just shows our commitment to the Ministry of Education and the um, Education of our children at Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah? Is there yeah? Cost allocated towards mental and self so We will take care of it, yes. So it's, a, it's an all inclusive um, cost and service we provide to taking care of the Ministry of Education, is our valued customer, and more importantly, the kids at Trinidad and Tobago. And we are just a couple of weeks away, Minister, from the official start of the we have done a lot of planning and our planning has been focusing on what will happen once we are able to open physically in some way. You would have heard the Prime Minister speak to that being our goal. You would see the vaccination of students taking place now. But school will reopen, whether it is virtually and hopefully we'll have some students coming out physically, so school is started to reopen. The question is, and of course we are looking at the vaccination, we are looking at the, the, our numbers and so on, um, to see who can come out physically first. And that vaccination, those numbers will be very important to determine that. So allow me to take every opportunity, including this one, I'm sure Minister Morris Julian will join me, to encourage our parents to go out there and get your children vaccinated so that we can get back to school. But um, certainly we look forward to the start of the, of the school term and teachers now in 10 schools with even more anticipation because they have new technology at their fingertips to be able to use. Now I know both ministers had their, um, their children vaccinated. I'll start with you, Minister Julian. Um, how, how, how is your daughter feeling following that vaccination? She thinks she's a superstar now, so that's the only side effect. But they're doing fine and everybody is good and from all their friends that took the vaccination, nothing to speak of. Children are very resilient. So I'm really happy to report all is well. Similar to what Mr. Morris Julian said, all is well thus far. Thank God. We have seen quite a number of parents bringing their children out. The Ministry of Health has brought on more sites to allow more capacity. So I'm asking parents, um, on the first day, there was a large chin out, you know, there was a little bit of a wait for some parents, but they endured and the weather was also inclement. More sites are out now, um, many in the south, the paddock has been brought on in, in the north and so on. And so it's easier now to get your children vaccinated. There is no appointment, you simply walk in. So again, we are appealing to all parents, take the step to protect our children, get them vaccinated so that we can start school with that level of safety and security. And as parents, we want that security. We understand what it is for, for parents to feel afraid for their children. And that's why we led by example, vaccinated our children, and we're asking everyone else to do the same. In terms of preparation for, um, for, for the eventual opening of schools, uh, for teachers who want to get vaccinated, how has that been doing so far for those who want to get vaccinated? Well, the country can be vaccinated at will, and the country now has vaccination choice and vaccine choice. So you can have many different choices of vaccines. So the teachers, like all citizens, are urged to take up the opportunity to be vaccinated. Many of them I know have. I know that some would not have. So again, we encourage not just the teachers, the MTS guards, the cleaners, the cafeteria workers, the clerical workers in the school. We are asking all school personnel. We have had dedicated time for the Ministry of Education. But even if you miss that opportunity, it is now easily available to walk in at any of the mass vaccination sites, get vaccinated. There's choice. We ask you, please, to go out and do your part to take our country back to normalcy. With the impending arrival of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which is our longest vaccine, how important is this for, you know, um, for anyone, any teacher, or anyone who wants to take this? How important is this uh, with this coming into to be able to reopen schools in Well, it means it's even easier for, do, for you to do what you have to do. Because the rest of us who took the two dose, we had to take one and then go back on another day. But with the one dose, it's just one shot. So it's even easier to do your part to get our country back. And opening school, even though vaccination is not the only level of protection. There are other things, the entry protocols and so on. But vaccination gives us that layer that we cannot deny. Looking globally, we cannot deny it's been effective. And so even though you may have doubts, which are normal, everybody has to think and has to look and to make decisions, 
we think that we are asking something that every citizen can look around the world and see that it makes sense. So therefore, we are asking all of our citizens, teachers, all school personnel, parents, bring your children to be vaccinated. Alright, I just had to get one interview with um, Trisha Henry. Let me see if she's ready. She, uh, yeah. Yeah. So um, I, I know. Well, we would have uh, uh, introduced a full for the Coalfacies program. Yeah. Tell us, um, what does this entail and how? Um, I, I know this is probably the fifth or sixth year this is in. Yes. But tell us more about this. So this uh, program started five five years ago. This year is six years. So we have to, uh, also training almost in fifty. Uh, talents, ICT talents. This is best uh, students from the university, UV, UTT. And we have a committee to select best. And also before the COVID, we can send them back to China for trainings, for ICT training, for culture trainings. So let them get more uh, experiences. What the latest technologies, they can go into our lab to test, uh, use different technologies, and also try the Chinese cultures, food, everything. So this is program weaving for the these global activities actually, not only for Trinidad. And this is six years. Unfortunately, last year is pandemic, so we can only have online. Last last year we have ten seats. This year we continue. So we will continue to do this program because the talent, technology is one thing, the most important talent. We want to develop more together with some Ministry of Education, University, Chambers, together to develop more talents for Trinidad. So this this year as well. Yeah, we continue. We committed to do this because we've been here for 15 years already. So Huawei we've been here. So we committed. And also Trinidad is very important for this Caribbean region. So that's why we also donate this. We want to make a good reference case. It's also for these new models like, uh, you know, pandemics mm -hmm. is sometimes online, but sometimes when we come back to school, it's online, offline. So this should be online, offline models. So we want to use new technologies, support these uh, offline, online hybrid models. So I think that's very important. This is our commitment to Trinidad. We will continue invested in Trinidad and continue committed this Trinidad to develop our business here. When is the, uh, the, the seeds for the future program come to start and who can apply for this? So this is also, this also can be open for all uh, university students. They can apply for. So we have a, a contact person, they will get a resume. So you prepare your resume and suck, uh, send your resume. And after we will have committee to select. Normally it depends. Uh, we have uh, five or 10. So uh, every year average, at least five persons will be select and give this program, training program every year. It's yearly based. And when does the program take place this year? Sorry, this when does the program take place this year? Uh, this year, I think this year we uh, started the uh, uh, interview now. Uh, hopefully, for October or November, we will have this program. Yeah. Okay. And how do um, I mean students who are enrolled in this program? How do they benefit of this? Um, yeah. How do they benefit after this program? And you know, uh, it's been, it's been uh, for uh, yes. Um, so, so, so I think uh, we uh, we also have uh, also. Uh, after the, 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 this program, we will have more connections. So, one one side, we will company will uh, we will contract have contract with those uh, best. So still so far, we have four our seats are working with Huawei now, and also we will recommend other companies. Actually, last year we have one uh, 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 actually one workshop. We invite all companies like operators and also companies, they also can interview. We also recommend this case to the other companies, also for government. So, so far these 50 uh, seats, so it's very successful. I think they have many roles, jobs, opportunities. I think this is give them opportunities because we also want to use Huawei platform to introduce them to more people, more companies, to know them, to let the, to have uh, working with them. Today we saw the launch of the idea. Huh? Uh, what's in store next uh, for Huawei? Sorry. Of technology. Uh, I think the technology is the uh, is many many technologies. You know, so also 5G. We have uh, uh, AI, artificial intelligence. We have many many technologies. But I think uh, most important 
is like a corporation, innovation corporation. It's not only te pure technology. It's more like how you cooperate really help to solve the issues mm -hmm. and uh, taking care of challenges. This is most important. So I think without technology, all we work together with universities, with governments, with companies like TSDT partners. So we work together to have taking care of challenges. That's the most important thing. And my final question, um, Huawei, this idea hub is launched for schools. Yeah. How important is it or how beneficial would it be to businesses? Uh, I think this, because the, as I mentioned during my presentation, so we also company have facing child challenges. So this one, we do this, in, uh, inv invented this uh, technology because we have same challenges. We have 200,000 staff globally and 1,000 office. Every day we have this. That's why we have a lot of challenges. We know this one. That's why we develop these technologies because this is a pure. Normally you see many. You have projector, whiteboard, you have a meeting, a conference meeting. So that's why we developed this for company all in one, whiteboard, conferencing, and also projector, so all in one. So this is make your life easier. So it's for many scenarios. University education is one, and also office for government, and so for different industries. So this is a, maybe a, is very, can use for almost every industries, can help them for, it's taking, for the, during the COVID. The communications challenges. Thank you. 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 Thanks. Yeah, that's it.